and welcome to your Go Market update with me, Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets on the 21st of June. We hope you're all well today. Let's check out what's coming across the news today. Uh, with US markets closed yesterday, uh, European markets are really the focus, and they ended positively despite that weaker session in Asia earlier in the day. Uh, US futures have also remained positive since yesterday morning, with the Nasdaq outperforming up around 1.3% at this stage, but all index futures are above 1% to the upside with the US due to return from the long weekend today. Asian indices are positive today, recovering some of yesterday's losses, and the ASX is up around 1%, and European futures are pointing to a slightly positive open. US dollar index a little weak today, trading mid-range and slightly lower in the Asian session. Gold really hasn't moved much since yesterday, and it's still around that 840 level, uh, below the key 850 where the 200 EMA sits. Uh, gold is retesting $115 after a week. Uh, day yesterday It's testing one month low as when we met here yesterday and just a little bit of buying coming back in. Seems reluctant to take it all the way down to 110. Uh, the VIX remains over 30, although it is slightly down in Asia, but obviously we'll see how that works during the course of the day and into the US session tonight. Bitcoin has been a terrible place to be if you were long and it actually held on to 20,000 this morning. This was trading below this key level yesterday morning and so just a little bit of buy-in but be warned that could be short covering after really dropping in excess of 35% over the previous week. Very little data to talk about today. The RBA minutes are out already and it's a quiet day with some US housing data later on this evening and the Chicago Fed national activity numbers also out. So it's really going to be a sentiment driven day, whether there's some hangover from last week or whether there is a pause in the cell, which we saw on Friday. Difficult to call, but maybe with data out later in the week, we might get some more clarity about where the markets are heading right now. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that have caught our eye today. We'll start with the Aussie dollar yen and you can see here we've been trading in a range in between uh, this 93.60 level and 94.40 level. We looked as though we were going to tackle it in Asia but didn't quite make it to the highs of yesterday and the previous day. And the RBA minutes came out. They've essentially been ignored by uh, currency markets. So no surprises in the minutes themselves. Probably worth just looking at a four hourly chart just to see where this sits. If we do get a break of 94.40, then perhaps we can see it back up towards 95 in the first instance. On the ASX, it was very difficult to find anything positive about yesterday's price movement across the board, with the exception of a couple of stocks. One of these stocks was AAC, the beef producer and distributor, Australian agricultural company. And you can see there we'd already broken through this 210 key level here last week. We got some follow through yesterday. And although we looked as though we we're going to sell off in this morning's trading, we've worked our way back up to where we closed yesterday so there still looks as though there's some buying pressure in this and it may well be seeing how this closes towards the back end of the day trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now